Mm -hmm. So while develop the application developers and testers, they need to follow client requirement. So first, first mm -hmm. uh, we need we need to gather requirements from client. So who will gather the requirement mm -hmm. from client? Uh, I sorry, yeah, any business analyst. The business analyst. The business analyst. Exactly, business analyst. So business analyst go to, business analyst go to client side and gathering requirements from client, gathering requirements from client. With requirements, he can prepare two documents. Mostly, what is the two documents? Like BRS, BRD, BRS, like BRD also we can call and BRS and SRS document also. Mm -hmm. BRS stands for business requirement specification and SRS stands for system requirement specification. Mm -hmm. Once again, software bidding first at this stage, CEO go to client side and you finalize the project and the kickoff meeting. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, at this stage, CEO, uh, CEO go to client side, CEO come to organization and he can arrange one meeting with all project managers. Why? To select the project manager. So once project manager is selected, then project manager is first he can prepare one initiation document. The initiation document is called project initiation note right so once mm -hmm. initiation note is baseline then business analyst business analyst go to client side and gathering requirements from client with requirements you can mm -hmm. prepare two documents are uh, the two documents BRS and SRS BRS stands for business requirement specification and SRS stands for system requirement specification understand you know BRS stands for what is BRS Sirisha Business requirement specification and SRS stands for system requirement specification. Exactly. Two. Why two? One document here. BRS is the total requirement from client. Total rough work. Everything is there. BRS. From BRS, developers and testers to understand the requirements. They are giving clear information document. That is called SRS document. Understand? Mm hmm. So once requirement gathering is completed, so then everyone concentrating on analyzing, analyzing requirements, analyzing requirements. What is analyzing? So which type of documents we need to analyze? Now see here, developers to start the development work, tester to start the testing work, everyone they need to analyzing requirement documents, right? So once mm -hmm. requirement documents is baseline, project manager, developer, tester, everyone they need Department document. Type of document we need to analyze: BRS, SRS, BRS, SRS, and some requirement documents they need to analyze requirements. Understand? Got it. Yeah. After analyzing documents, next see plan, plan, project plan, project plan prepared by project manager. Project mm -hmm. plan prepared by project manager. Like it consists of, or like uh, here selecting team, how many developers mm -hmm. required, and to develop the application, what is the resources required? So what is hardware required? What is configuration required? And uh, how many developers required? What is a team? And how many testers mm -hmm. required? What is a team? Everything, everything prepared by project manager. So project plan prepared by project manager. Understand? Based on requirements. Okay. Once, once, once planning is completed, next stage designing. What is the next stage? Designing. Designing. See, what is designing? Like at this stage, at this stage, see uh, our uh, like architecture, architecture people, they're concentrating on, they're concentrating on, so designing the application. Designing the application. Based on requirements, they can design the application as a two types. What is two types? High level design and low level design. What is high level design? Mm -hmm. What is low level design? Like see here, outlook of the project is called high level design and the inner look mm -hmm. of the project is called low level design. Understand? See once again, uh, designing, first designing at this stage, at this stage, designing uh, is done by technical people or architecture people. So they can design the, they can design the requirements as a two types. What is that? It's done by high level system only. And like two two types of documents you can design. What is that? One is HLD, and the second one is LLD. What is HLD? What is LLD? Like high level design and low level design. Simply one thing. Outlook of the project is called high level design, and inner look of the project is called low level design. Simply see. Uh, uh, high level design example if you want to construct one building uh, what is high level design example where is the bedroom where is the kitchen where is the hall where is the dining hall everything comes in high high level design what about LLD 
whatever LLD, like from HLD, uh, where is the kitchen, where is the bedroom, like what is the height, what is the breadth, where is the window, where is the entrance, uh, what is the height, everything comes into LLD. Understand you know? mm -hmm. of the Outlook of the project is called HLD, inner look of the project is called LLD. Okay. So system designing category people, they can design the project as a two types. What is that? HLD and LLD. LC designing part is done by system analyst and technical people. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Once designing is completed, once once designing is completed, next to start coding. Next to start coding. What is coding? Means the designing development. See, coding is done by programmer. Coding is done by so programmer programmer uh, based on LLDs L, actually LLD means some algorithms is there so based on LLD so programmer they can start coding they can start coding see once after completion of coding after completion of coding test engineers we can start testing testing on the application test engineers we can start testing on the application right mm -hmm. testing on the application so testing is done by quality and list category people testing is done by quality and list category people so at this stage we need to compare expected value and actual value here mm -hmm. so once testing is completed next release to the application application release to customer once all testing is completed then application release to customer so once releasing is completed then so then ccb team concentrating on Maintenance, maintenance. What is maintenance? It's also called as support NC. Uh, what is support NC, Aishwarya? After the product has been released to the customer in case any problem comes and also upgrades exactly. are necessary. Office. Exactly. See Aishwarya, see, uh, see Shirisha, today I purchased a mobile. So next day it's not working. Again I need to purchase new one. No need. Some warranty and guarantees there. Correct? Yes. Support NC. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a support and see. Support and see give by, given by. So CCB team, control change board team. To give the support and see, IT companies maintain separate team. The team is called control change board. See, once again, mm -hmm. soft, uh, actually, you know, you just uh, you observe any website like any SDLC, any SD starts from requirement gathering. Correct or not, Aishwarya? Yeah. Any SDLC starts from requirement gathering. But first I am explaining some basics also, like software building, kickoff meeting, mm -hmm. initiation note, everything. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. First, first to see, concentrate, Shirisha is very concentrate. First, software building, like CEO, CEO stands for Chief Executive Officer, CEO go to client set and finalize the project. Next, kickoff meeting, kickoff meeting at this stage, CEO come back to organization, he can arrange one meeting with project manager. Why? To select the project manager. So at software meeting stage, CEO finalize the project. At kickoff meeting stage, CEO finalize the project manager. Next, once project manager is finalized, then project manager can prepare first document. The document is called project initiation note. Understand? The document is called project <laughs> initiation note. Initiation. Next, requirement gathering. Requirement gathering. To develop the application first we need, we need to understand so requirement gathering at this stage. So to collect the requirements from client, business analyst, video stands for business analyst like domain expert, business analyst go to client set and gathering requirements from client. With requirements we can prepare, we can prepare two documents. One is BRS, second one is SRS. BRS stands for mm -hmm. business requirement specification and SRS stands for system requirement specification. Why two documents? Now developer and testers to understand the requirements. We need to concentrate on SRS document. Why? Because BRS is a totally requirement from clients. So we are not able to understand proper like details. So every testers, every developers we need to concentrate on we need to concentrate on SRS document. Okay? So after completion of this one, analyzing every tester, every developer, every project manager, every person to start their work first they need to analyze it, they need to understand client requirement. So to understand the client requirements they need to analyze requirements like BR, study BRS SRS the documents. Once SRS documents is uh, like analyzing is completed then project manager first start preparing project plan based on requirements like team selection and like what is required, what is hardware required, what is software required, so what is duration everything prepared by project manager at test plan stage. 
once once planning is completed then design designing is done by system analyst or architecture people they can design the project as a two types one is hld second one is lld hld stands for high level designs lld stands for low level design once designing is completed so next to coding coding is done by programmer based on lld's programmer they can start coding once coding is up completed then application giving to test engineers for system testing so testers like quality analyst people can uh, concentrating on testing on the application so after completion of testing application release to customer so final thing support and say it's given by ccb ccb stands for control change board and is it not okay isoria how uh, can you explain stlc process mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, next question. Sure. So, so first the project, the the CEO of the company or the upper management goes to the client and fetches the bid of creating an application or a software. Then the project is initiated with the project initia initiation note. Then the business okay. analyst goes and requ gathers requirements okay. and creates the business requ the business uh, requirement specification. and also the uh, system requirement specification then the total requirement which is the business requirement specification is converted into the uh, the system requirement specification which the developer yeah. Sim uses. simply an example i sorry brs is a textbook like the srs is a guide guide which one is the best to understand requirements is the guide correct or not that's yes. right the guide yeah yeah next yeah. then then the project then the project manager puts together the project plan depending on the requirements gathered such as what kind of how many team members do they need the timeline the number of developers testers and things like that and then the design designing is done by the system analyst or the and the developers and the whole technical team they create mm -hmm. the high level uh, design and uh, with the high level design they create the low design which gives the details of the uh, development uh, application development with the lld which is the lower level design they create the uh, development the coding actually starts with that by the developers once the okay. development is done the testers come into the picture and they start testing the application for the actual value versus the expected i mean the expected value versus the actual value then the product is released to the customer and after the release the maintenance team comes in which is handed over to to the ccb the control a uh, change control change board. board where they take change board where they take care of the maintenance of the software or the system exactly good and the socialisha can you explain sdlc yes yeah first to the ceo of the company finalizes the project Uh, with the client, and he uh, he will have a kick off meeting to select the project manager for that particular uh, project, and then the project manager creates a uh, project initiation note, and then mm -hmm. the analyst uh, uh, gathers the requirements and creates the BRS and SRS documents. B B R S means the business requirements specification document and S R S the system requirements specification document, and the whole team analyzes the project, and then the project manager will uh, create a project plan in which uh, he selects the designers and testers, mm -hmm. and then uh, the designing is done by designing of project is done by the. system analyst or architecture uh, in okay. which we create uh, the high level documents and the low level documents and based okay. on the low level document uh, they will create the coding i mean the design okay. uh, designs the program and okay. then then the testers will uh, test the program uh, like comparing the expected and the uh, actual values and and okay. uh, at the end it is released to the customer and after that the maintenance team comes into picture and they will support the project yes okay good fine okay see yes dlc is not complete this is a basic level as dlc as dlc is there so next class we can continue as dlc so understand today class yes got it thanks hi surya any doubts today class and see no. first week our course first we can complete uh, first manual uh, this minute that's right see 
in our duration like we can complete first manual testing once manual testing is completed then we can discuss about QC like quality center it's a management tool it's not automatic like we can discuss QC once QC is completed before go to QTP I will explain VB script which is required for QTP so VB script once is complete mm -hmm. then we can go for QTP in QTP mostly concentrating on descriptive programming and the database testing is very very important nowadays to work with QTP descriptive programming and database testing everything once QTP is 100 percent is completed then again QC why QC only here QC completed now this QC comes into manual this QC comes into automation once total is completed then we can discuss about the, we can discuss basic knowledge of selenium and load runner tools understand or not okay. yeah Okay, so any doubts, any questions, I sorry, Shirisha, how is it class, understand or not? Yeah, yeah, the class is very good, thanks Ramakrishna. Okay, thank you, so any doubts, any questions? Uh, just a question that uh, now when we do quality center and also um, VB and um, the QTP and things like that, so we technically need like, uh, I'm sure we need to upload certain things into our uh, computers, right? Like, for example, the quality center or the QTP tool. Will that be supported by Big Class? Yeah, Big Class is. I will show. I will show installation, like how to install. See, like QTP, the, those are we can download from internet also. Okay. Okay. This I will show how to download and how to install, how to use everything. I will show. It's not an issue. Thank and you. see, see guys, just I prepared one soft copy also, like manual QC, QDP, everything with screenshots and everything. I prepared on soft copies, and uh, so like while 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 discuss about those topics, and uh, I will forward to your mail. Okay, that one I forward to your mail. Thank you. So, okay. Thank you. So easily you can understand that one. Okay. Uh, Thank so, you. Uh, I have one more question. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so after the class is done, like. Uh, do you continue the support like if we go into a project and if we need any support like yeah yeah yes, I guess I, I, I can use support then the, that one just you need to speak with the classes okay okay, okay. so through big classes is not an issue okay okay, sure. okay. yeah so okay. that one you go and talk with big classes okay yeah sure okay. thank you thank you thank you bye bye yeah thanks bye. thank you bye bye yeah.